Millions in revenue and high-profile mishaps. For the past two days, we've taken you in-depth beyond the headlines of the Marcellus Shale drilling. Also, beyond the noise of critics and advocates, there are people who live hydrofracking each and every day. In our final report, Matt Markham asked commissioners in the most drilled county in Pennsylvania what advice they have for officials here in New York. Doug McClinko walks us through his town, the capital of the Marcellus Shale territory. And then when I look at the border between New York State and Pennsylvania, and I think to myself, what in the world are they thinking? For nearly the entire time PA has drilled, its neighbor state, New York, has mulled over research, which is smart, according to Bradford County Commissioner Mark Smith. We need to be careful about those things, in my opinion, uh, and, you know, and, and making sure our growth is um, consistent. If there is something that you would like to tell our governor or our state, out of your experience, what would it be? Um, I think it's preparation. Uh, I think that in Pennsylvania, you know, we went into this fairly quickly. Um, we did a lot of work to catch up. From road maintenance to a housing shortage, Bradford County's growth from gas hasn't been easy. One proposal for New York, an impact fee for drillers who frack our land, basically a tax on the gas companies. The first year brought 23 million to the county and its townships. Some people were very wary of that impact fee when it was first being discussed. I'm one of them. And not only worry of it, we've seen growth and development of tax base be done through prosperity through the private sector. Why in the world do you want to tax it? This is crazy. There are five gas companies operating here. Chesapeake Energy, the most prominent. We were in touch with Chesapeake for several weeks before our visit, but was told because of a conference in Philadelphia, no one would be available to speak to us. One Chesapeake representative, however, did put us in touch with a member of the Marcellus Shale Coalition who spoke with us by phone. There is no reason for us to uh, continue to slow walk unnecessarily uh, progress. That coalition is funded by a who's who of gas industry leaders for research and development. Energy costs are, are, are going down um, as we produce more natural gas. It's coming to the market. The commissioners suggest moving on from the DEC's impact study to a study of road and housing readiness, making sure the anticipated influx of people can be handled. Governor Cuomo, I mean, I appreciate it. I read what he's doing. I listen to him. You know what? Come on down, jump in my truck. You want to go see stuff? We'll go see stuff. And see just how much life has changed with hundreds of gas wells and how it could soon here. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.